Last week, we defeated Fist, the top team in the TGS. This week, we battle Burger, a player I knew next to nothing about coming into this league, but who just so happens to also be in first place going into week six. Clearly, there's some real talent in the Pokemon draft community that even I'm not aware of. And Burger's team is no joke. Off rip, the offensive core of Garchomp, Terra Enamorous, and Sneasler is nothing short of terrifying. And Burger's defensive bonds do a good job of checking traditionally top tier threats. However, our team is anything but traditional. So let me show you once again just how to tackle a scary offense. I've been known for hating Life Orb as an item choice as I believe there's almost always a better option. When it comes to a breaker that wants to change up moves like Greninja though, there may be sometimes no better path. As you can see, Battle Bond Gren can just win this game if called on with Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Extra Sensory as its offensive arsenal. Our last move is Protect as, if you didn't know, Normal Gem on say Sneasler will not proc if Protect is used to block Fake Out. This means that Greninja will remain faster than Sneasler and by proxy, the entire team. We brought Terra Ghost Archaladon last week and we're bringing it again. Why? Because Special Terra Blast Ghost plus Body Press essentially has no switch-ins across Burger's team. It also means that Arch becomes a natural check to Sneasler's stabs as we don't have a Ghost type on this roster. Stealth Rocks feel somewhat necessary, especially with Enamorous unlikely to be running boots here and Arch spin blocking Serena is a nice bonus. Chesto Berry with Rest as the last move also allows us to possibly 1v1 the Hisuian Samron if we get a few turns right. Next up is Moltres. This should be quite apparent, but into anything but Terra Electric, Water, or Rock Enamorous, specially defensive Moltres does really well. Overheat hits the team quite a bit harder than Flamethrower, to the point where I feel like it's worth bringing. Brave Bird Oko Sneasler from full, and U-Turn lets us keep up momentum on obvious Rotom Heat or Slowbro switch-ins. Assault Vest Great Tusk will be our lead this game. I have enough HP and Spidef investment to live a modest Scarfed Moonblast from Enamorous on lead, and enough attack on Adamant to one-shot Rotom Heat with Head Smash and a pretty heavily HP invested Garchomp with Ice Spinner after any prior damage like Rapid Spin, for example. Finally, Knock Off lets me at least hit the Slowbro and remove a potentially crucial item like Helmet or Cobra Berry for Greninja. Scarf Raikou might seem a little strange with Garchomp sitting right there at the top of the team, but trust me, it's a necessary risk. Reason being, I need something to revenge kill the Enamorous. There's a good chance it just goes Terra Electric Scarf here, especially if the Garchomp does doesn't come for whatever reason, but it's nice to just have something faster that can revenge Stellar, Terra, as well as Water and even Fairy to an extent. We're running Terra Normal because we have extreme speed tech onto this naive Raikou as it's an excellent way to revenge kill Sneasler. Wait, why, why is excellent in quotations? Anyway, the rest of the set is pretty standard. I considered running Terra Blast as that would be boosted by Terra Normal as well, but I think the three moves here are fine. Scald is better into Rotom after all, and I'm unlikely to terrestrialize Raikou in the first place. And to close out, we have Mirror Herb Ogre Pond. Yes, I know we've done this before, but I'm very scared of Enamorous and Garchomp, and this set basically covers for both. You could argue that Weezing could perform this role, but when you look at Spadef Weezing Calcs into Terra Electric or Stellar Enamorous, it's really not a fun time. This Ogre Pond spread alongside this moveset will cover for Super Power, Calm Mind, Scale Shot, and Swords Dance all at the same time. Not to mention just a straight Moon Blast can trigger Defiant. Clearly Scizor or Rotom are liable to come in on this Mon, but I'm hoping that by forcing the Enamorous or Garchomp out once and getting knockoff on the switch ins, I can open up my other Mons and still have the info on the Chomp or the Enam sets. Those are our six Mons this week. Let's see if we can go back to back on defeating the first place team in TGS. All right, I am totally ready to lose. <laughs> this matchup is not good. I probably mentioned this in the team builder. I usually record the team builders after I've already played the games. Spoiler. But yeah, this matchup is not good. I'm not expecting to win this. So if I can clutch out a win somehow, that pretty much guarantees playoffs and that'll be really cool. But I very much doubt I get the win here. It's okay because the rest of the matchups this season are very manageable. I can definitely win them. So let's try to get through this one as best we can. Here we go. Huh. Look at that. The slow bro's here. I wasn't expecting the slow bro. It's part of the reason that I went Terra Ghost on our Chalodon so that it could actually hit it. And it's here. I think I just lead Tusk. Raikou's maybe better. Yeah, I could see a Raikou lead. Raikou's not terrible. Like, I think I'd rather keep my Tusk healthy. Plus, we're Scarfed, so that's really good for an Amorous because it's Terra Stellar. Yeah, so I think I just lead Raikou. Like, I don't see a problem with that. So here's Rotom. So we could go Scald immediately. 
Uh, I actually want to see how much that does. It does 63 to 74 uh, to no HP. To max HP, uh, 248, it does 50 min. So that's not bad. Uh, I kind of just want to take that damage. Alternatively, I could just Volt Switch into Great Tusk and see what he does from there. Kind of tempted to do that because I, like Tusk can come in on Overheat no problem. So that's probably just what we're going to do. Uh, there is no good switch in here. Honestly, it's like, like just Ursaring. And that's it. And that just gives me our Chalodon and le lets me get up rocks. So this is actually looking really good. <laughs> like, I didn't expect this to look this good, but it looks really, really good. So, we pray. <laughs> we pray that we can actually come out with a W here. Um, I know that Burger only built this team, like, today or yesterday. So, yeah. Um, light screen comes out. Interesting. Huh. So it's a screens team, huh? Weird. Very weird. Okay, well, we're gonna head smash and hope that we're faster than the Rotom and just get off a head smash and knock it out. We're not, but we get off good damage here. That's 50%. And like, what do you do here, right? Like, you're probably just clicking overheat, I would assume. It's also faster than me. So there's that. You definitely do not click an electric move here. So I could just go to Moltres and then just switch out to Raikou again. Try to burn some screens turns because now the Rotom's really low, right? Uh, it could also have pain split. So I'm tempted to just head smash again. What gets out of control if I let it? I don't think the Sneasler ever gets out of control because we have the Archaladon. With Terra Ghost. Plus we have E-Speed, uh, and we have Protect plus Extra Sensory if it's um, Fake Out. So I think I could alternatively just Knock Off. Knock Off's not a bad play, because it catches the Slowbro. But I do kind of just like Head Smash. Kind of hoping this isn't Balloon, because that would suck. Yeah, let's just Head Smash. Okay, here's the Overheat. We are Assault Vest. So we are going to take out the Rotom. So this is going to be Screens basically gone for the rest of the game. And uh, we'll see what the Enamorous wants to do. Because I'm assuming that's what's going to come out here. If it's not Enamorous, it's like kind of a loss of the screen's turns and momentum. I guess he could try to sweep me with Sneasler now. But I think that's quite unlikely. And I still need Moltres for the Enamorous, in a sense. Because we are pretty spadef. Doesn't have an electric move. Just going to be spamming Terra Blast the whole game. And we have a Scarfed Raikou, so it doesn't matter if it itself is Scarfed. Let me just see if I EV'd my Raikou to be faster. I did. Okay, cool. All right. Awesome. Yeah, 343 versus 342. Cool. Yeah, so this should be fine. Um, we do take out the Rotom early. Sack our Great Tusk in a sense, but our Tusk was not the Sneasler check, so it's okay. We have Moltres and Archaladon for that, so... Plus, the Sneasler has to burn an item, and I just want to see something. How much does Sneasler take behind Light Screen from Greninja? Because we are Life Orb, right? Uh, let's just go this, this. Extra Sensory. Wait, why does it do so little? Oh, it's already calcing the Light Screen up? Okay. Sure. So here, um, our Chaladon seems pretty obvious, but it is my play, I think. I think that his priority here is just to get up hazards. Alternatively, I could rapid spin to catch the first hazard because I don't really need this, right? So we'd go rapid spin into switch into our Chaladon on the water move. He could just knock me out as well. That is an option. We don't know this thing's item. It could be focus sash, right? Could be assault vest as well. Eviolite, choice scarf. That's some kind of seed, boots, and scarf. That wasn't what it was. Okay, so it's, thank God that I, I was like worried that this thing was telling me exactly what his sets are, but it's not the case. Okay, so we see a swords dance. Interesting. So we're going to get off a rapid spin here. And I mean, Ivy Cudgel kind of messes this thing up. So does Raikou. Uh, of course, Sucker Punch is a problem. That is something that we do have to be careful of. 
So I'm just gonna go for the head smash here. We do see the Aqua Jet. Is this thing Life Orb? No, okay. So we could go Ogre Pond. Because this thing is Stellar, I'm assuming it's Scarfed. So I don't think Ogre Pond's actually gonna do anything here. Alternatively, I could go Archaladon. There's three turns on Light Screen and four turns on Reflect. So how do I play this? This is plus two Aqua Jet. Let's check Sucker Punch into Raikou. Uh, Raikou Sucker Punch does 96.7 max. Obviously, we don't knock him out with anything, but I think the play is to go Ogre Pond and click Ivy Cudgel. Does Ogre Pond live Sucker Punch? 85 max. So yes, it does. Alternatively, I can Encore. Encore seems pretty strong here. Yeah, I'm just going to Encore him into Aqua Jet. And this is going to bounce off. Cool. All right, cool. Now we go for Ivy Cudgel. Um, I could also go for Knockoff. But Sneasler seems like a pretty reasonable switch in here. I could alternatively double into Archaladon. That's not bad. That covers pretty much everything. I guess except for Enamorous. Huh. But then only Knock covers that. Cudgel doesn't cover that at all. But I am going to double into Archaladon. So we get off a nice little Encore there. Encore's a good bring here. Here's our Chaladon. We do see the switch in to Ursaring, so this is fantastic. We are just going to get up rocks here. And uh, we're gonna see a Belly Drum. And the Reflect does not go down. Now I can tear a Ghost and Body Press here, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Belly Drum is so whack. Okay. Does Grenges win? No, Samurott's still too healthy. So I think I Terra Ghost and Body Press. Is there any ever any reason to Terra Raikou? I don't think so. So he was Citrus Berry. So he's not Eviolite. Right? So how much does Body Press actually do? 29 to 34, and then the next one would kill. How much does he do to me with like a plus six Earthquake? 75 max, and we're faster. So yeah, I Terra and Body Press. 100%. No questions asked. Click that Press. We see the Body Slam. We stop it. Beautiful. And now we are just going to press again, and Reflect is gone, so we kill. Awesome. All right, here's Samurott. This thing can go for a Dark Move, obviously. Uh, I eat that, and I think I KO in return once I'm plus one. Yep, 87 to 103, even if he's like max bulk. This is already to 172 HP. Max bulk dies. Uh, I just want to see how much I actually take from a Ceaseless Edge. So Ceaseless does 43 max from max attack. Wow, that's nothing. Ooh, he misses. That's pretty big. So we're going to get off a big hit there. And, um, yeah, that's rough. I'm sorry, Burger. My bad, man. Um, I think we still let it go through. He's just looking for damage, right? That's all he's looking for. So that he can revenge me with an Amorous. But, like, at this point, Raikou goes ham. Honestly, if I just keep our child on, I think I win. So I think I actually sack Ogre here. Do I ever lose to Calm Mind Slowbro? Is that my lose condition? I think it might be. Like that would be the one way that I could lose. So maybe I just stay in and then switch out once the Enamorous comes in. I think that that's the play. Alternatively, I could rest right now to get the plus one, but I think that that's foolish yeah i think we just press there's a ceaseless that's 54 gets up the spike and now we knock out the samurott this should be the enamorous and this should be the sack of ogre pawn here so let's see what he goes for stellar terra blast let's see if he's faster than me he is so he's scarfed he should be anyway and we're gonna go raikou 
And we're just going to go for a Volt Switch here. Does that kill? 87 min, yeah. Okay, so Volt Switch here. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Greninja. There's the Volt. We knock out the Enamorous. Greninja looks pretty free. Um, Moltres is also pretty free, actually. Yeah, Molt is super free. Because Molt just U-turns on the Slowbro or Brave Bird's the Sneasler. So he goes Slowbro. We're going to U-turn. We're going to get back in our Archaladon here. That is an eject button. So there's the Sneasler back in. We're going to go for Brave Bird and knock this thing out. I really didn't think I could win this game. All right, there's Endure, but that's not going to do anything. That's just a Lychee Berry. That's plus one attack. Um, at the end of the day, I have E-Speed. So I just click Brave Bird again. There's Gunk Shot. It knocks me out. We go Raikou. We click E-Speed twice. And then the Slow Bro is the Jack button, so it's probably not Calm Mind. Yeah, I think we got it. I suppose Foul Play could also... No, Foul Play doesn't do enough. We see upper hand and that flinches me. Wow. That is incredibly good prep. Holy. Huh. That's crazy. So now it's actually another 50-50. Right? Because upper hand doesn't work into this. Yeah. Beautiful. Got it. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't know that I could still switch up moves. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Holy. There's the T-Bolt. 4% slow bro. Skull comes out and we'll give the last kill to Archaladon because Archaladon's been fantastic here. We'll go for the Terra Blast. GG, man. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was close. That could have really been bad. All right. That was a great game. Go and check out Burger in the description, guys. That was really cool prep from him uh, with the Sneasler. I did not expect upper hand. I didn't even know it got it in the DLC. That's really awesome. So go and check out his side of the battle. Go and check out all the coaches in the description down below, of course. Uh, as usual, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if this is your first time on here or otherwise, and uh, like the video as well, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.